welcome back. We are going to cover a lot of real-time use case scenarios from devs at cops perspective. We are going to integrate a vulnerability scanning tool as part of our CACD pipeline. So as a first step, we are going to use a tool called Trivi. So Trivi is an open source vulnerability scanning tool from a company called Aqua Security. So we are going to use this Trivi in order to scan the Docker image for our Spring Boot microservices application. And we are going to automate this using Azure AML pipeline. So if you look at this diagram, we have our Spring Boot application configured in GitHub. So we are going to create Azure DevOps pipeline that is going to check out code from GitHub. It is going to build the jar file using Maven. And then we are going to, and then we will set up Trivi on the Azure uh, DevOps hosted build agent. So we are going to use Azure hosted build agent in order to run the build. And we are going to set up Trivi scanner on that particular build agent. And then we are going to perform vulnerability scanning of our Docker image using Trivi. And then finally, once the Docker image has been built, and then we are going to upload the Docker image into Azure Container Registry. So that's all we are going to do as part of this particular demo. So let's get started. So like I said, Trivi is an open source security scanner from a company called Aqua Security. It can scan a lot of things. It can scan container images or Docker images for finding any vulnerability vulnerabilities issues. It can also scan your local system as well and folders. It can also scan your GitHub or Git-based repositories for finding any uh, issues with your source code. It can also scan your Kubernetes cluster. And then it can also scan your IAC code, such as you know Terraform or, or Kubernetes manifest as, you know, as well, in order to find any, any kind of a misconfiguration you know, in, in those, uh, you know, those templates. All right, so let's get started. So if you look at the prerequisite, uh, we need to have ACR configured. So I have already configured ACR. So this is my ACR configured in Azure Cloud. Okay, so if you don't know how to do that, you can click on this particular link. There are so many ways you can configure. You can use Terraform files or you can also use Azure CLI to create your resources in Azure Cloud. So pretty straightforward. You just create a resource group and then you create uh, you know, ACR under that resource group. Okay, so but I have already done that. And then this is our Spring Boot application. So this is my Spring Boot application. As you can see here, we also have Docker file created. Okay, so you can see here, we need to have a Spring Boot jar file. So we are going to use Maven to create the jar file and then we will create this uh, Docker image. All right. Uh, and then of course, we need to have our Azure DevOps configured. So this is my Azure DevOps dashboard. Okay, so this is my uh, organization dashboard and then I have a bunch of projects. So I'm going to use one of the existing projects. All right, great. So let's get started guys. So what we are going to do is we are going to create Azure AML pipeline. We are not going to use classic pipeline. So we are going to create AML pipeline and then we will add some task in order to, you know, uh, create the uh, jar file, create the Docker image, and then also, you know, install Trivi scanner as well. So you can see here, since we are running the build on Azure DevOps agent, we need to install Trivi scanner on that agent. Uh, so again, there are so many ways you can you can set up Trivi. In fact, I might have some link here as well. Let me quickly show you. So you can see here, right? Let's say you have your custom, uh, you know, build agent, right? Let's say you have configured self-hosted agent. You wanted to install Trivi on that agent. So you can do it by using, let's say if that is Ubuntu, you can use APT which is a package manager for Ubuntu. You can also use that. Or I also have provided this link over here as well. So this is actually a Trivi website. So there are so many ways you can set up your Trivi scanner. Okay, so you can see here, right? There are so many ways you can do that. But as part of our demo, we are going to set up Trivi scanner on the build agent. And then we will perform scanning of that image, right? The, the image that we are going to build uh, and we are going to scan for that. So this is actually a sample code for that. All right, so let me try to show you guys one by one, okay? 
so let's get started let me go to uh, azure devops pipeline let's start creating a pipeline first okay click on new pipeline so our source code is configured in github so i have already created service connection uh, for my github so so that's the reason why you are able to see all the repositories so let me click on my repository and then we wanted to uh, create a docker image right so again there are so many templates available let me go ahead and then create this one and then you have to select your subscription because we are going to connect to uh, microsoft we are going to connect to azure cloud using our microsoft credentials so let me use my microsoft credentials in order to create the service connection perfect so now we are able to uh, authenticate successfully with azure cloud so now it is showing all the um, you know options so that is my container registry and then this is the docker image okay perfect and then this is the location of the docker file so my docker file is in the root of the folder so perfect all right so that's pretty much over there and then click on validate and configure so this should go ahead and then create the initial aml file for us so let's see Perfect. So right now, as you can see here, we have our initial AML file being created. But again, we are not done yet. We have to customize this AML file. So let's try to break this down. So, you know, since this is a Spring Boot application, we need to first build the Spring Boot jar file. So I'm going to use Maven to do that. So what I'm going to do is let me use this assistant and search for maven here and then select this one so this should take care of you know uh, creating the task for me there you go you see here right so that's pretty much over there so this should take care of uh, creating the spring boot jar file using maven perfect and then if you actually see here uh, this particular task actually does both right this is going to build the Docker image and then it will also push the Docker image into ACR. So I'm going to break this into two different tasks. Okay. So let me first build the Docker image and then I want to perform the scan. So if you see in this diagram, so I don't want to directly upload the image into Azure Container Registry, right? I want to first perform vulnerability scanning using a tool called Trivi and then I want to upload into Azure Container Registry, right? Of course, you can also upload into ACR and then download the image. You can also perform scanning as well, but, but this is actually a good practice, right? So if there are any uh, vulnerability issues, like any critical issues find uh, are found in a Docker image, I don't want to upload into ACR, right? I want to actually, you know, let developer know so that they can take any corrective action, right? So that is actually the reason why I wanted to do the, uh, you know, scanning first before I wanted to upload, okay? So let's split this task. So what I'm going to do, so this is actually doing a build and building and pushing, right? I just want to perform build only. And then over here, let me make this change. So build a Docker image. And then this will actually push the Docker image. Okay, so I'm going to say push. Perfect, I mean, nothing fancy about it. So this is pretty straightforward, right? So this should take care of building and this should take care of, you know, pushing the image. But before I go too far, uh, let's actually uh, do one thing, right? Of course, I can also save the file and then run it. We can also, you know, verify that just to make sure everything is working fine. Actually, let's do that. Let's do that before I add a task for a trivia scanning, right? Let me first make sure that my pipeline is working fine. So click on save and run. Save and run. Awesome. So Maven build is done. Right now it is in the process of building the Docker image. After that, it should be able to push the Docker image into ACR. Awesome. 
So let's quickly go to our ACR and then verify that. So I think this is the one. So you can see here now, 1.38 PM, right? There you go, you see that? So they are perfect, right? So, so far so good. So our pipeline is good, but what we are planning to do is we want to perform scanning, right? Using Trivi. So let me go back to the pipeline. So I want to edit the pipeline. So where, where we have to add some task, right? For scanning. So let me go back to my instructions. Okay, so I have already provided sample code for us. Okay, it's not a big deal. So you can see here, right? So this will actually download uh, the Trivi installable from here. Okay, and then using that, we are going to perform scanning. So two different tasks. One is for downloading it, and then another one is for running the scan. If you actually see here, so this is the command which actually does the scanning, right? So you can see a Trivi image and then you have to pass the image, uh, you know, the image information, right? Okay, with the tagging and all. And then if you see here, you can pass some arguments, okay? You can pass some arguments. You can say that, yeah, no, no, show only high critical, medium defects, anything like that, right? So you can, you can, you know, control it, okay? If you don't pass anything like this, then it's gonna give you all the, you know, issues, right? While scanning the Docker image, okay? So that's what it is. So let's try to do one by one. Let me first copy the task for performing the scan. Okay, so we wanted to do right after we build the image, right? So let me go ahead and then paste it. So this should take care of downloading the Trevi on the Azure DevOps hosted agent. So if you guys remember, we are not using custom uh, you know, build agent for this particular demonstration. But if you want, you can do that. I uh, already shown you guys how you can install uh, Trivi uh, scanner on your custom agent, right? Okay, so that is that. That should take care of uh, downloading Trivi. And then let's also add this particular task for performing scanning. So copy that, go ahead and then paste it. There you go. Okay, so you can see here, so this is important. Okay, so make sure you give it like that. Okay, and then these are the arguments. Okay, so I did mention that once the defects found, ignore unfixed, right? So yeah, I mean, you can, you can also add some logic like exit code one. If you say that exit code one here, you can also fail the build as well, but again, you know, we just want to first make sure that our scanning is really working, right? And then this is really critical. So this is where you're passing the image information along with the tagging and whatnot, right? So we already know when we build the image, so this is how we build the image, right? Okay? And then of course, so this is where you're actually pushing the Docker image over here. I think this should uh, take care of it. Okay, so let me, let me go ahead and then validate and save. So I'm going to say here added task, task for scanning Docker image using Trivi. Save. So if you see here, as soon as you save, it should take care of you know, running the build because you configured this way, right? So if I go back here, there you go, you can see here, right? Let's see. So while the build is running, uh, like I said, you know, Trivi is a open source security scanner. It can scan, you know, a lot of, lot of, uh, you know, uh, things, right? Like, you know, such as your Docker image, local systems or, or repositories, even Kubernetes cluster, even it can scan your Terraform files or Kubernetes files for finding any misconfiguration and whatnot, okay? So that is a beauty of uh, Trivi Scanner. And then of course, you can also refer this particular link. This, this is actually Trivi's website. You can see here, there are so many ways you can, you can set up Trivi, all right? So let's get back to our pipeline. There you go, guys. So right now, the scanning is happening right now. 
it already downloaded the scanner as you can see here okay and you can see here where trivi got installed and that's exactly what we are using right for for scanning wow looks like you know scanning is done here guys and you can literally see here so we are able to find wow like 59 issues and you can literally see here the breakdown medium high and critical right isn't it okay of course i'm not going to go through each and every issues you know with our darker image but you can literally see here right so that is the beauty of the trivi scanner isn't it okay look at that you know i think mostly they're all you know in the the dependency jar file right yeah and then of course our docker image also got uploaded into ecr here as well and you can see here we are doing dynamic tagging right so it is able to upload you know into acr so yeah so so this is how guys you know this is how you can scan your docker image right uh, for finding any vulnerabilities issues using a tool called trivi i hope this video was really useful i'm really looking forward to see you guys you know in, in more upcoming videos thank you so much